Ecclesiastes 3.1 says, To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. For the last 51 years, I've had the honor and privilege of serving the Lord in music ministry. I began leading and directing choirs in 1967 and have served eight churches in Missouri, Texas, and Oklahoma. It was on September 15, 1974, that I celebrated my first Sunday as leader of worship at Meadowood. I have been so blessed to lead you in worship these past 44 years. The Lord has given me such a wonderful body of believers to love and to work with. The Lord has spoken to my heart and made it clear to me that this is the time in my life in ministry to lay down my baton and allow God to provide his next servant to lead you forward. Last summer when I could not speak or sing, I thought that my public ministry was over and my time to retire had come. I'm grateful to the Lord that he healed my voice and gave me another year to serve with you. It has been one of the most satisfying years of ministry. My last Sunday to lead you in worship will be August 12th. I look forward to the few remaining weeks that we have together and have already begun praying for the new worship leader who will continue to love and lead you in worship and praise. I cannot begin to tell you how much I treasure the years of ministry that I've been allowed to have here at Meadowood. Your faithfulness to the Lord in the music ministry has been such a blessing. Twenty years ago, I was in this worship center, and before worship, one of our men was in the back, and I just celebrated 20 years with you, and he said, Tom, when are you going to retire? <laughs> that was 20, about 24 years ago. I said, well, I don't know. Whenever the Lord says it's time to step aside, and, and he has definitely made it plain that this is my time. Uh, as one said, the old gray mare ain't what she used to be. <laughs> and it, it takes a lot of energy and strength to... Uh, be a minister of music. I remember my father-in-law used to kid me. He says, people would ask him, well, what's your uh, son-in-law do? And so, well, he counts music. <laughs> of course, he was joking, but there's a lot of things that go behind the scenes, and I realize that the, the strength that I have comes from the Lord, but as I've gotten older, I realize that it's time for a, a man with a little more zip and zippity-doo-dah to, to come in and, and lead you. And I, I thank you that Bob has not asked me to resign, and there are people in the church that have not cornered me and said, I think it's time for you to step aside. You've been very gracious in that area and have allowed me to make this decision with Ann, and she's in full agreement with me that this is the time and this is the place, and we love you. We'll always love you. We have so many uh, memories in this place of people getting married, people being born, and people going to be with Jesus. And so we look forward to the last few weeks that we have together and be praying for you. Well, this weekend's been an exciting time at our house. We've had a whole family reunion and uh, had just about everybody there. And uh, anytime we went home to Independence, Missouri, where my dad was pastor for 35 years, he would always have the children sing. Well, the children have grown with spouses and children, and uh, we wish we could get everybody up here. Everybody could sing and do this, but uh, we're going to sing a song. I was going through things as I've been cleaning out the last couple of weeks and found this arrangement I did for his kids a number of years ago, a group that we had here at Meadowood, and it talks about a bright new world. And if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you know that this world is not our home, that we have a home eternal that Christ has prepared. And this talks about that bright new world that one day that we will step into and be with him for eternity. Someday a bright new world will break shore, and there will be no sickness, no more crying, no more war, and little children never will go hungry anymore, and there'll be a bright new morning over there. 
be a bright new world for us to share. Someday we know not when, when time on earth is done, and those redeemed from every land will all become as one. With voices of all angels praising God, the three in one.